A West Asheville man is still in disbelief tonight after a vehicle slammed into the wall he was sitting against, knocking him down. This all happened Wednesday at the Pisgah View Apartments. News 13's Justin Kenton spoke to him. And Justin, how did he describe what happened? Well, this is where it happens, and he kind of equates it to being a long jumper. Now, I'm not a track star by, by any means, but you kind of lift your chest up a little bit, have your arms out, and then snap it forward to get that distance. He said that snapping action is kind of what it felt like when he was thrown to the ground. Even as a football player in college, he says he's never felt anything quite like that. At Pisgah View Apartments, kids are everywhere, and Wednesday night, it was no different as they traded in the swing set to help clean up boxes. Every other Wednesday, the food banks come out and they give fruits, vegetables and stuff to the neighborhood, and they all line up and go in there and get them, and that's what was going on. But about as quickly as they moved away, someone else moved in, crashing into this building just a few feet away. According to this accident report, this is how it all happened. The driver put the car in reverse, backed up, hit a car behind him, switched gears, put it in gear, pulled forward, and smashed into that building in front of him. And I broke down crying. They kept saying, Mom, ain't no kids over there. It's all right. I'm just crying. No kids got hurt, but there was someone on the other side, sitting in this chair, and he did get hurt. It was like an explosion was behind me. You know, your body parts aren't ready for that type of shock. And I lost my breath. I fell forward, I fell to my hands and knees, and I just, it just didn't make any sense. Like, I, I was just shocked. Shocked and nervous that more destruction was just ahead. The whole building could have fell down. Fortunately, it did not. But then came the call to mom. But when he called me, I thought first, oh my gosh, this is um, April Fool's joke. And then when he said, no, put it on speakerphone so my grandmother can hear it too, then that's when we were like, okay, this is serious. Drummond says he still has sharp back pain, but he plans on going back in order to motivate the youth, like he was originally scheduled to do that day, just with a memory forever etched into his mind. We are going to look back at it and, and go, whoa. <laughs> now, as for that driver, according to the accident report, he was cited with unsafe movement. Reporting live in Nashville, Justin Hinton, News 13.